In this video, we will solve the problem to find a single number in a pair of numbers. That is, suppose we have an array containing numbers in pairs, which are stored randomly anywhere in the array. But there is one number which is not in pair. For example, in the given array, we can observe that we have a pair of every number. That is, we have 2 1, 2 2s, 2 3s and so on. But we have only one 7. That is, 7 is the number which does not occur in pair. And we will use the XOR operator to get the number which is not in pair. Now let's take an example to understand how to use XOR operator to find the number not in pair. Let's take an array A of 3 integers which are 3, 2 and 3. That is, the number 3 is in pair and the number 2 is not in pair. But first, let us try to understand how the XOR operator works. The XOR operator is a bitwise operator and it takes the binary representation of the numbers and works on the corresponding bits. That is, if both the bits x and y are 0, their XOR will also be 0. If x is 0 and y is 1, the XOR will be 1. Similarly, if x is 1 and y is 0, their XOR will again be 1. And if both x and y are 1, their XOR will be 0. If we observe the trend here, the XOR operator gives 0 if both the bits are same, that is either both are 0 or both are 1, and gives 1 if both the bits are not similar, that is either one is 0 and the other is 1. Now to understand the working of our program, let's write all the numbers in their corresponding binary forms, that is 2 is represented as 1 0 and 3 is represented as 1 1 in binary. Firstly, we will take an integer variable num and equate it to 0. Next, we will start traversing our array from the start. And as we progress, we will XOR each element with num. And when we are done traversing our array, we will see that the variable num will contain the number which is not in pair, that is 2 in our case. Now let's try to understand the logic behind our process. Firstly, we take our variable num, which is initially 0. And then we take the first element in our array, which is 3 and is represented as 1, 1 in binary. Then we start performing the XOR operations on the corresponding bits starting from right and we store the result in num. So starting from right, the XOR of 0 and 1 will be 1 and then moving left, the XOR of 0 and 1 will again be 1. Thus, now our variable num has value 1, 1 which is 3 in decimal form. Next, we again take our variable num and we move forward in our array to the next element, which is 2 and is represented as 1, 0 in binary form. Then we again perform the XOR operation starting from the right. For 1 and 0, the XOR will be 1 and for 1 and 1, as both the bits are similar, the XOR will be 0. Thus, our variable num now contains 0, 1 which is 1 in decimal form. Next, we again take our variable num and we move on to the next element in our array, which is 3. And we again perform the XOR operation starting from the right. For 1 and 1, the XOR will be 0 as both the bits are similar. And for 0 and 1, the XOR will be 1 as both the bits are different. And now, as there are no more elements in our array, we will stop the process. And now, if we see our variable num contains the value 1 0 which is 2 in decimal which is the number which is not present in pair in our array. Overall what our XOR operator is doing is it sets the bits for a number and when that number is encountered again those corresponding bits are set to 0. That is number in pairs cancel out each other and at the end we are left with the number which only occurs once. Now let's implement this using C++. We start our findNum function which takes the array A and its size n as arguments and returns the number which is not in pair. Then we declare our variable num and equate it to 0 and a variable i to iterate over the array. Next we start our for loop for i is equal to 0 and i less than the size of the array and we XOR every element of the array with num. So after our loop is over, we'll have the number which is not in pair in the variable num. So in the final step, we return the variable num, which is our answer. I hope this video was helpful.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग